Hello learners, welcome to Cash Education. In this video, we'll study about the self-splicing mechanisms of introns. Introns are the non-coding intervening sequences. Therefore, they must be removed. In the earlier video, we have already studied the removal of GUAG type of introns. This is a representation of a group 1 intron. Group 1 introns can be removed from their own catalytic properties. Because they are mRNAs and they have catalytic properties, they are called as ribozymes. Without the assistance of any protein or any accessory component, they will be eliminated from the pre-mRNA structure. The process of self-splicing intron begins with the cleavage at the 5' splice junction separating exon 1 and intron 1 at the exon intron boundary. The exon 1 is released and separated. Next, a guanosin residue is added to the 5' end of the intron 1. This is followed by nicking the intron exon boundary at the 3' end, now releasing exon 2. After this process, exon 1 and exon 2 are ligated. The ligation of both the introns is again catalyzed by the self-splicing ribozymes activity. Both the exons are now ligated and can be declared as a mature mRNA transcript which can be translated into a protein. The intron that is remaining is now processed to loop backwards from its 3' end forming a characteristic lariat structure of the intron. This lariat structure is then nicked to generate two types of fragments, a linear fragment and a circular fragment. Both of these fragments are degraded and this is how self-splicing introns catalyze their own removal. This is all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. See you again next time.